Tell little bitch I wanna fuck. Uh, tell little bitch can take my nut. What's up, YouTube? It's Larry Valley. I'm back again to do a quick video on whether or not you should buy a used BMW. Alright, so when making a decision on, on buying a BMW, you should take into accountability the, the mileage it has on it, the motor, the year. So pretty much to make the model of the year. And um, to find out all the information you can about the car. Like, was it driven hard? Is it on its third, fourth owner? And was it owned by like a 17, like an 18 year old kid or a 19 year old, you know? teen and did they race it you know did they run the motor hard and also was the main is the maintenance done on it because a lot of times you can find um for instance like a 2011 528i with like a hundred you know twenty thousand miles on it but it doesn't have any maintenance done you know so on top of getting a, a good deal which is like i don't want to say any prices but always factor in at least you know a good thousand dollars and that's if you know how to work on the car so I take that into consideration as well do you know how to work on vehicles BMWs are just like any other vehicle except they have more more onboard diagnostics they have more computers um, like modules um, they have the Venus system the Venus timing system which other manufacturers have Venos as well, but BMW has the Venos, dual Venos. Um, you know, parts are a little bit more pricier. Do you know how to shop for the parts? Are you gonna go sh run to the dealership, or do you know a good, uh, you know, a good outsourcing um, parts supplier that can get you know they can get good deals on parts. So there's a lot of secrets. Um, maybe not secrets, but there's a lot of things that that um you can do to save money on parts and on on maintenance on the labor if you know how to do it yourself but at the end of the day most people are selling their BMWs because they didn't do the maintenance on it they have like three three lights or, or their whole entire dashboard lit up the ABS um, let me see they have service engine soon you know which is a check engine light um, So yeah, just always know that people are trying to sell the cars because they don't want to spend them. They went to a mechanic and they figured it's going to be thousands of dollars to fix. Alright guys and girls, so just remember, if somebody's selling you a BMW for, um, for cheap, like when I say cheap, it's not going to be like cheap, but like as, as far as going to a a dealership it's going to be at least like 40 percent cheaper so when remembering when if you whether or not you should buy a bmw or not i recommend yes if when you know how to work on vehicles two you have tools um and all the tools required to work on a bmw so you just need like torques um reverse torques um, some a couple Allens, you know, different all the Allens, the torques, um, also some uh, some good um, ratcheting wrenches. I'm not gonna get into that right now. Which type I, I think you should get, but some good ratcheting wrenches for tight areas. Um, scan tool, and then um, three whether or not you possess the information or you can go out and get the right parts because you, anybody can go and you know go to the dealership and, and spend six or seven times more than what they would if they knew where to get the parts from so just remember know how to work on cars have the right tools smart enough or canny enough, canny enough to get the right parts at a cheap price and then um Four, whether or not you're getting a good deal and five how much maintenance is that vehicle going to need in order to get it up 
uh, to proper uh, running condition because on a BMW the gaskets are going to go so the valve cover gasket um, the um, oil canister gasket the oil pan gasket transmission pan gasket um, rear main seal there's a lot of things that are, that are going to um, be a eccentric actuator shaft gasket or seal yeah, gasket so there's just a lot of things that, that you're going to need just like any car but on a BMW it's you need to do the maintenance because the cars are finicky you don't do the maintenance you're going to get check engine lights you're going to get poor performance so just take that in consideration you're going to buy a car for a decent price but then you're going to have to put in X, Y, Z amount of dollars depending on it, whether or not you know how to work on cars yourself so yeah that's just something just my opinion subscribe like and um appreciate you guys keep watching it's Larry